All right, as part of our $80 eBay oil cooler kit, we got a new. Now the oil screen does not appear to fit. Now I'm gonna test that, because I actually did buy an original OEM Ford one as well. One of the Ford oil, uh, oil screens. So I'm gonna go get it, and we're gonna try it and see if it slides in nice and neat. Let's make sure there's nothing underneath there. Nope. Here we go. Genuine Ford parts. I am curious to see if this fits better than that one. I also like to compare. Oh. This is the the eBay, and this is the Ford. I can tell you the Ford is a much finer mesh right off the bat. Oh well, you guys can see these again. Ford original, uh, eBay. I'm hoping you can see just how much finer the Ford is. You see the original Ford and the eBay one. eBay on bottom. So now this is marked as a 183852C2, and then it's got a subscript 4, and this one's a 183852C2 subscript 2. I wonder if these are different variations. Either way, this is definitely going to be the one that goes into my vehicle. Let's see if this goes in any better. And yes, yes it does. This definitely sits in there much nicer. Oh, much nicer. Much nicer. Much neater. <laughs> Combining my words. So it's definitely a a step in the right direction for the Ford. It doesn't really snap in. It just seems to set in nicely. All right. Now I've heard tell of some people having problems with the gaskets. And the interesting thing to me about that is that your gaskets are only supposed to sit between two pieces of metal. They shouldn't be in contact really with the uh, with the fluid, at least not not constantly. You know, if you've got a small imperfection, that's where the gasket comes in. So I find that interesting. But first, we need to go over and yank the old oil cooler out of the uh, the actual assembly. So let's go do that. <laughs> 